switch over to Dr. Riola. Boy, she's got that kitchen together today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for watching me. Uh, today, what I'm going to be making is a veggie nori roll. I've already made some. If you can put a picture on it, this is what they look like made up. Put it down so the camera. That's the nori roll, veggie nori rolls. And this is what I have inside of it. I have pea sprouts. This right here is parsnip that I shredded up. Uh, you can use um, jicama or whatever you like to put inside the nori roll. These are beans, uh, pea sprouts and shredded carrots. And this is zucchini. You can use cucumber. Um, and this is avocado. And so what I do, I spread, I have some fermented food here. It's a dip. You can eat this as a roll up or you can make your lettuce sandwich like Wanda did. Take two pieces of romaine and put it, put some uh, seed cheese in between it and make your sandwich and eat it and it tastes really good. So this is the seed cheese that I made. And so you, I just use this and I spread a little on, on the um, nori roll in this, almost in the center, but just leave a place on the end to roll it up. And, um, and then you just put your, um, first I put the uh, parsnip on there, just spread it all over. Put as much as you like on there. Put a little bit more seed cheese. I like seed cheese. It's a fermented food, so it's really good for you. So I put a little more of that. And then I'm going to put the carrots on top of that. And then I'm going to lay the pea sprouts on top of that, right in the center. Then I'm going to put the um, zucchini strips on it. And then I'm going to lay the avocado on here like this. Just line it up. And I have here, I have this little, it's made just for rolling up sushi. So, I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna put a little seed cheese on here so it'll stick. You take it like this, roll it up, push it down in there. You need to get to one of these when you want to make sushi. Oh, you can do it if you don't have one of these. Then you just squeeze it. Then you get your knife and you cut it in half. We're going to see what it looks like. Unroll it. There you got your little wrap. So we're going to cut it in half. Like I did those over there. And voila. Wow. Denari roll. Okay. Now next I have for fermented food is, uh, I don't know if you ever had this, but it's really good. It's three onion sauerkraut. Um, then we have the uh, just regular cabbage sauerkraut. And I made some quinoa. This is this is a fermented drink, which is a probiotic drink that you can make yourself. And it's made from, with quinoa. And quinoa, um, it's called it's a quinoa rejuvelate, and it's um it contains pro protein, uh, B vitamins, it has vitamin C, uh, E and K, and um it's a cheap probiotic that you can make yourself and you can add it to your smoothies or you can just drink it plain. And I like it because it looks like milk. And so I'm going to strain this into here because 
Oh, let me show you something. Don't bother me. Um, this is what this is what the um they look like when you sprout them. You soak them for a couple of hours and then you tilt the jar and you sprout them overnight. Uh, they'll sprout sprout overnight and then you take them and you grind them up in your coffee grinder or your bullet and then you pour them in a jar. You take one fourth cup. Um, uh, these uh, quinoa and um, once it uh, ferments, you just strain it. Can you move the camera over so we can see, please? You just strain it. It's not coming out of here good. But um, let, me see. let me get a strainer. So we're gonna do it like this. You gotta turn your camera back on, Dr. Riola. It went out. Turn it back on. One. I don't know what happened. Oh, low battery. <laughs> low battery say. Um, close low battery one. Can't touch it right now. So it's better if you strain this with a, a milk bag. Um, they sell those in the store. And so you just put it in the milk bag if you have, know how to make almond milk. Uh, and you just strain it in the milk bag and um, squeeze it out. And it comes out easier that way. Because right now. But this is what it looked like. I just wanted you to know what, what it looked like. It looks like milk. Mm -hmm. So it makes it very easy to drink. And it's not very strong. It's very mild. So that's the um, quinoa rejuvelate, okay? Next, I have pineapple rejuvelate. This is made from pineapple peelings. Now, I suggest our organic pineapples. Um, if you get the regular pineapples, then you need to wash them real good and soak them in some grapeseed extract or some fruit wash or something like that. But this um, this is strained. Okay, this you just pour it. Just this is strained very easy here. And you just pour it in the jar, and you got pineapple rejuvenate. And this is a fermented drink, and it tastes good, and it's so good for you because pineapple has vitamin C as well probiotics, also bromelain, um, also it has um, enzymes in it. So then you just strain that, and that's what you have is a pineapple rejuvenate. And all this is is the pineapple core and the pineapple peelers. You can chop them up, or you can slice the uh, bottom off the pineapple. Just slice the bottom off the pineapple like this. Sit it up. Then you just peel it like this. And you take the little edges off. You take the peelings, you can put the peelings in whole, or you can chop them up. Whatever you, whatever you have time to do, I like to chop mine up because it's perfect faster. And then after you get all that done, lay it down, cut this off, discard that. This you take this, you can cut it up in little squares, put it in the jar, fill it up with water. Okay, you wanna put the core in as well, so you start right here, right back where the core is, cut that off, cut this off, cut this off, cut this off. Cut this off. Then you got the core. So you can put the whole core in there along with these 
or you can chop the core of as well. That's my presentation.